So I find the value of m and of n of the following quadratic inequality. So you see here the range of x combined. So when the range is combined, that means uh, for the general form, it is smaller or smaller and equal to. If the range separate, it means it's either larger or larger equal to. So in this case, you see here it is uh, just smaller. Uh, this one, the symbol is without equal sign, and it is combined. Therefore, okay, this one smaller than zero. So you have negative three. Negative three is actually x plus three. You see here, x plus three is equal to zero. X is equal to negative three. And 4, it is actually x minus 4. So this is how you arrange it inside equation. Now you can expand. x times x, you get x squared. x times negative 4, we get negative 4x. 3 times x is 3x. And then 3 times negative 4, we get negative 12, which is smaller than 0. So x squared negative 4 plus 3, you get negative x minus 12, smaller than 0. From up here, you see the equation x squared plus mx smaller than n. So you can arrange it x squared plus mx is smaller. So you see here, positive will become uh, be negative smaller than 0. So you can compare negative 1 is equal to m. See, you take what is in front of x. So negative x is actually negative 1x. Lah. So m is equal to negative 1. 1. Okay. And then at the back here, you see a negative 12. We can compare with n. Negative n is equal to negative 12. So n is equal to 12. So this m is equal to negative 1 and n is equal to 12. B. You see your range of x. You see here or it is separate. So when it is separate, it must be larger than 0 because this one is without the equal sign. So x minus 2, you get x plus 2. x plus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 2, right? So this is where negative 2 comes from. And then you have 5 here. This is negative 5. And this one is larger than 0. Since the range separate. You see it separate. Okay, you can expand x times x. You get x squared x times negative 5, you get negative 5x. 2 times x, you get positive 2x. 2 times negative 5, you get negative 10, larger than 0. So here, x square, negative 5 plus 2, you get negative 3x. And this one, negative 10, larger than 0. So you want to compare with this one. See here, this one is 2x square plus m larger than an x. Okay. So when you bring it at one side, this one is 2x square plus m minus nx is larger than 0. In this case, you cannot directly compare. Why? Because your x square is different. Only when the x square is the same, you can directly compare the value of this one. So what you must do is that either this one, the second one divide by 2 or this one multiply with 2. I think it is easier for this one to multiply with 2. Here you get 2x square minus 6x minus 20 is larger than 0. Since x square is the same, then you can compare what is in front of x and what is without x. So this one, it will be easier to see if you arrange it this way. Okay, in front of x is negative 6. In front of x is negative n. Negative n is equal to negative 6, so n is equal to 6. Here, negative 20 is equal to m, so m is equal to negative 20. So, this n is equal, okay, or you can start with m, m is equal to negative 20, and n is equal to 6.